With the playoffs around the corner, Bolingbrook and Homewood Flossmer were looking to build momentum and confidence. They would rely on everyone to play their role. When HF was down 13-12, Hayward set a middle pass to senior Sunley who powered it too quickly for the libero. Right after he reached up with Epley stopping the Raiders recovery. They did not wait too long to get it to Bembo again. It was 19-22 when the Raiders needed Benbo to clutch up, just getting in his way was Sun Lee. The Vikings would win set 1, 25-20. The second was a nail-biter. 20-all switched to 21 for the Brook after Bilek killed it. Hagemaster was stuffed in the middle by Wardlow. Hayward single-handedly stopped Raiders' drive, because from there they came back and set sail, winning 25-22. Coach Szyzelski talked about the men up front. We knew they were tough. Uh, they've beat all the teams we've beaten. They've competed against all the same teams we've competed and yeah we, we went in thinking this was going to be a very even even match and it, and it was but uh, really our guys up front did a great job uh, they were blocking tremendously well uh, Lane and Mac both made a presence we took their two best hitters kind of out of the game and uh, they, they really didn't hurt us so I give all the credit to that and a, and a great scouting report one of them was Sun Lee Lane is is our energizer bunny I, I tell you um, he brings so much to us just excitement energy um, never down in practice or, or games. Uh, you just look to him, and if you're down, he'll bring you up. And today, last last couple games, he has brought just some power to the net, and, and uh, he's gotten us a lot of kills. His serving has been outstanding, and he's been playing some great defense. So his all-around game has really stepped up, and today his presence at the net was the difference maker. So at the beginning of the game, we had a game plan, and I followed it as well as I could. Um, I knew who I had to stay on during the game. And I got it done, so that's good. And from there on, I just built, built up the energy for my team, uh, made sure we could keep keep ourselves going. He spoke highly about Hayward. I think this game was really good for um, Terendrin Hayward, our setter. Um, he's been he's been doing very good, improving a lot, and gave me a lot of good tough sets today. Or everyone a lot of tough sets, chasing the ball around the court, even on bad passes. I know it's a tough job. The energy from the regular season will take them to playoffs. We want to keep the momentum going. We, we were saying earlier last week, uh, we had seven games left in the season before the postseason. How nice would it be to, to have a seven game winning streak going into it? And right now we're two games away from having that. So we're playing well. We're knowing what it's like to win. And I, I think if we can keep that energy going, that's going to go real well for us in the tournament. Home with Flossmore's next game is versus Rich Township. I'm Claude Martinez reporting for Will Cook County News.